Hi guys, welcome back to another market breakdown video. And then on today's on today's video, we're looking at uh indices, Nasdaq, US Daily, and German Daily. So I'll start with Nasdaq on the weekly chart. And then as you can see on the overall structure, we had this push down, corrective move, push down, corrective move, and then we had this push to the downside. So this is the larger corrective move to reach like a value area at the top of the structure. So initially. Uh, I'm looking for selling opportunities up until this area here. Let me just do this. Let me just remove this drawing. Up until this area here or the lowest low of which is around that point. And then at the top of the structure, I'm looking at this high here. And from the daily perspective, I'm looking at this low here, lower high here. Then we have this overall structure going on. And then previously we had like some overall descending channel just like this. We had this descending channel previously. And then as you can see, we have created like a double top formation around this area. And then another thing, you can see that we have created like some rejection here, whereby when the market opens, this would be some type of an engulfing candlestick pattern on the lower time frame around this area here around this point and then let's switch to the four hour chart so on the four hour you can see that it has already formed at the top of the structure and we have an ascending channel that has uh, recently formed up as you can see around this point we have an ascending channel just like this just like this and then we can have our over overall 90 percent and then let me just do this and then on the hour chart that is where we do like our forecasting and then for our forecasting i have uh, a few ideas on this one and then we have a ascending channel at the top on the way to the top of the structure around this point so I was expecting the market to clearly push back to the upside. As you can see, this price action is currently corrective. So what we can expect is for the market to correct back to that area of which it's around here. Then we correct back to that structure. We create a mini double top within there. Then we look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure. Our stop loss is just above. And we are targeting the overall lows of which uh, this one, the first one is this one, and then the one at the lowest low. So this is my first entry. And then for the second entry, if you are into um, keeping your risk low, you can just wait for the impulse down and then the six to eight hour tight flag around this point, just like this. And then your entry is just below here with a sell stop and then your stop loss is just above and then you're targeting the outer structures and then we can expect the market to clearly break the structure then we can hold for long term on nasdaq so let's look at us daily on the weekly chart so on the weekly chart we have this high point here as you can see and then we have this lowest point and then on the daily chart, we already broke structure around this point here. We have activated that mass psychology. So we are in a good setup on this one. We just have to look for our entries nicely. And then we have this overall area that we can focus on. And then let's switch to the four hour. So on the four hour, we had like a few entries that we should have taken. As you can see, we have the ascending channel on that mass psychology activation, as you can clearly see here. And then we have the 90% rule. And then what I'll do is that I'll just make sure that everything is neat here so that you can uh, understand everything. Then we had this double top override that I was talking about on NASDAQ. Then we had the push down, first tight flag, push down, corrective move. And then we had the tight flag on the hour push down corrective move so we are expecting the push down and then the tight flag again on the uh, hour time frame 
So let's switch to the our time frame so that you can see everything that I'm talking about on this uh, scenario here. So as you can see, we had the double top that I was uh, forecasting on NASDAQ. This is the double top that I'm talking about. The first tight flag, this one here, even though it's large, but you can see that it's flat. And then we have the second one of which it's on the lowest time frame, the five minute. The third one here, and then we had this overall corrective move around this point, just like this. Let me just try and fix up everything. So we had this large corrective move around this point. Let me just do this. Then we had the first tight flag around this area. Then you can just cater for this area also. Then we have the tight flag around this point here. So this is what I'm initially looking for on the next move, of which we already have the first uh, corrective move around this point. What we're waiting for is a clear push to the downside, and then we can have like an entry, of which what I'm expecting is this type of movement around here happening in this point, and then we get those cells around here, just like this, and then you're sell stop just below stop loss just above and then we are targeting the overall 90 percent rule of which that's around this area here for about 18 percent on us 80 then let's move to net to german 80 on the weekly so on german 80 uh we're looking for the same thing the high point the lowest point and the daily chart we look for those mass psychology activations that uh, already happened as you can see we have this one and then we have this highest point and then also this one can be useful to us as you can see the market has already crossed this area there's already a mass psychology activation so we can look forward to getting like some entries on this one and also look at this one as a high probability area for us to get like uh, nice opportunities so on the four hour on the four hour, let me just make sure that I'm catering for all the structures. We have this large ascending channel. This large ascending channel around this area. And then as you can see, we are at the top of the structure around this area. This is where I'm focusing on at the moment. And we had two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom. So I'll just remove this ray line here and then switch to an hour chart and then try and forecast everything. So as you can see, this is the overall structure. We have the overall 90%. So since we are currently in this area and then we also broke this um, mass psychology area, we can have this as our sending channel like this, of which this can be our first tight flag as you can see here it's already forming up very nicely and then we can take the short sell and then our stop loss is just above we are expecting the market to clearly push impulsively if we get like a corrective move that is when we sorry about that i have flu guys sorry about that that is when we can try and protect our entry maybe around this point or this point here so we can have this as our first target for eight percent and then the second target would be at the lows just around here for 19%. And then there's no need for you to catch like the tops of the structure. We can still wait for this type of formation to happen around this point here, whereby we wait for the break of structure. And then we can get the first tight flag, whereby that is when you can take your first entry. There's no need for you to take the tops or call out the tops or the lows just wait for a clear confirmation like this one here then you take your first entry so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one tomorrow